Yeah. Uh, let me ask you a question. I need to ask you, uh, and, and you're, you, you, you should give me a good answer now. Where are you <laughs> from originally? I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> okay, I will, I will, I will. Give me that. Give me that. I will, I will. I will. Okay, you know, so I can get, here's the deal. My dad. I'm Google it, right? My dad was yeah. in the military. Oh, yeah, you don't know my where you're My dad was in the military. You don't know. So where I was born, we left before I was even walking. Wow. Like, we, my, my mom had, you know, had me, and my dad was already there for a couple of years, so it was time to, to leave, so... <laughs> Oh God, let me share this with you. I don't like sharing this. I was born in Ar uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Yeah, we knew. I, I knew. <laughs> little, <laughs> little Rock. Why, what's wrong with you? Because I'm not a fucking Razorback. Shout out, shout out to Jesse. Because I'm not a shout fucking. Shout out to Jesse McDonald. I'm not a fucking you know I mean? Razorback. This is your sister right here, Jesse no, McDonald. I, Comedian like, Jesse McDonald. Arkansas. <laughs> Do I fucking look like Arkansas? <laughs> oh my God! No I'm not disrespect gonna to that. all no. my Arcadians or yeah, whatever you we call love yourself. No. But I um. Like you said, I traveled a lot with my father. Yeah, yeah. I went to four different thing. high schools. Wow. We lived in England. Wow. Uh, we lived in England. We lived in South Carolina. Wow. We lived in uh, Massachusetts. We lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, wow. Damn. And uh, Philly for a little while, and then here. Wow. So Dallas is the place you've been the longest. Let me ask you about this top yes. three, though. I think yes. about it. Top yeah. three artists of all time, dead or alive. We do that to everybody. Any genre. Mm -hmm. Top three artists. Yeah. Yeah, come my on with top it. three. Yeah, your artists. top three, and I, it can be well, any genre. Oh, Biggie is my number. Number one, one Biggie Small. That, can I tell you? Mike Jones story? said the same thing. Mike Jones said Biggie. I have a Biggie story, right? So Biggie's Biggie, Biggie was like my everything. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like just his big, cadence, black, fat, well, ugly, whatever. Lazy eyes, Iowa. coochie yeah. sweater. Down to I was the in socks. love with Biggie. Yeah. And those are some of the first lyrics that I ever remembered. Wow, like, that's hot. who the fuck is this? Patient me, me at 546 <laughs> in, in the, the morning. morning. Crack a dawn and now I'm yawning. Wipe the cold from my eye. Yeah. Guess who's this? Don't Patient play. me. And wow. why? Because yeah, this my nigga pop from the barbershop. Said he was in a gambling this, spot. Ooh, Heard the no, integral plot. Yeah. Yeah. So that was my first Say. that was my first official like thug, like like go hard rap song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? Before that it was like fucking hip hop, hip it, hip it, fuck yeah, that shit. Yeah, spend the I like that, yeah. you know, but that biggie hit hit different with me. So I'm, you know, I moved here from DC. Okay. I forgot to put DC. Yeah, on shout the out DC. We was just so, up there. Yeah. We we don't play. We be that's your hood. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm Chocolate City all day. So I moved here from DC. So we're in DC, and we're at this. Uh, we're at the Marriott uh, downtown. Yeah. And Biggie was performing, and you know him, Puffy, everybody was there, and so we're we're there, and Biggie's on stage. He been down. You know, DC niggas is grimy. So niggas, this dude tried to snatch Biggie chain. Wow. Off, you know, from off of him when he's on the stage. So Biggie's like, oh hell no. He's like, you know what? Fuck you and fuck everybody in here. I'm, I'm in. Out. The, I'm out. I'm Damn. out. Wow. Nigga tried to jack me for my shit on stage. Fuck. He was like, he literally told him. He was like, y'all need to whoop this nigga's ass. Damn, that's where it he go down. Because he was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm I'm about to go. But y'all need to whoop this nigga's ass because I'm did. about to go. So we're like, what the fuck? Biggie God. So anyways, so we go out. We go out. We're walking to the car, me and my girl. And a fucking limo pulls up, right? We're walking and the limo pulls up. The window comes down and it's fucking Biggie and Puffy. What they, what they and they say said, you? "Ride with us to Virginia." Did y'all? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, "My car is over there." Like, they was like, "Fuck that! You don't need no car." We go. It was like we, we don't have no. We buy you. You know, they just kept. Talking. We they buy can't. you. Yeah. We'll buy you clothes. Yeah. Just get in the car. Get in the we car. gonna buy you clothes. You don't need your car. Leave your car here. We got you. We got you. They, got, they turn. They up. Much it's as up. I fucking love Biggie and I, I love didn't get Biggie. In that car. You ever thought I about it? Like, damn, I should have gotten that car. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, I am glad I, I did not get in that car. car. No, I'm glad I didn't get in that car. It wasn't for me. I just didn't want to be known as one of them. Them type that, girls. That girl to no, them. That's because, hot. see, I'm all about, you know, my position. No, no, no. You know, How old so, was you at the time? Oh, I was like 22, 23. Lucky, what did your girl say? Young. Wait a minute. She oh, she was like, no, nah, we're not going. But you see, know, she see, was, see, you yeah. lucky you had a stomp down home girl with But see, you. that's when I was doing hair. And I was... I was famous to me in my own right. In your own right. You oh, know, yeah. I was getting ready to get inside my 
three hundred ZX. Yeah, and it ain't nothing that I just purchased. And I'm about to peel from the from the showroom that looked like a Bentley. Yeah, so I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm good. I'm good. I got money. I'm drug dealer money. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah. was like, nah, we're right. not doing we're that. And I'm not gonna leave that. my damn car. No, not that car. <laughs> But and so I, I wasn't sad that I didn't go, but it the, the fact the offer was amazing, you know. No, I offer just was great. So so Biggie's number one. Biggie's number, number one. Ooh, we like I said, it don't have to be rap. If Frankie you love Beverly and Mary. There it is, bam. Three, that's that's a hell of a number two. Number two. We we've had a Frankie Happen. Yes, we have. Okay. Before I let go. Oh, you sound good. You know, you should have been a comedian and a singer and, and a, a sing. damn personality. <laughs> all three of them things. Yeah. All three. Radio personality, too. Why didn't you never do stand-up? She could do comedy. I did shit. do stand-up. I know for a little You can tell. Like, hell. Continue. Um, I got, bo- okay, so I got they booed off the stage. But that happens. <laughs> Nigga, that happens. That's a part of it. And I, 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 uh, didn't, I didn't trust damn. my memory. Because, you know, stand-up comedy is work. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. It looks Jesse easy, was on here. but it is work, and it is hard work. Did you know Ricky during the time? Because Jesse McDonald when I did was on stand- here, no. and he said when, he helped him. No, when I did stand-up, I didn't know Ricky. You yeah. know, remember Junebug? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout, yeah, yeah, shout out Junebug, yeah. I knew Junebug. Uh, Nene Lee. Wesley Snipes. You didn't know Nene Lee? Did you remember Wesley Snipes? He passed Wesley. away. I don't remember Wesley, rest, but I remember, rest soul. I remember a few of them people over there were doing comedy back then. Yeah, I... I for you know entertainment purposes, the one that you would probably know would just be Jumba. Jumba, yeah. Help me, but yeah, but still, you know, the thing I can say is you got some. But you know what I thought about while she was talking, I was like, you know what, you don't have to, because everybody got their specific funny. You you gotta you. It may just be for the radio. You know what's wrong with that? Even if it was just for in where you feel comfortable doing it, you you doing a damn good job at it. Some people will never be able to do it on the level you do it on the radio. Yeah, because I, I bring my Real comedy. My, it comes out. Yeah, my com- I I, I want to kind of get back into stand up a little bit, but just like hosting and that's stuff how, like that. That's what Steve but, is doing. But I, but I do know my comedy comes on the radio. That's right, and and I know yeah. mine come with my homeboys. I, I ain't gonna get out of my lane. <laughs> So you funny around your homeboys. That's, that's it. And that's it. Yeah, I talk bad about them, you know, but uh-huh. when I do other things, nah, nah. Like scoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to yeah go in a little bit. Yeah. Not he really scoring. Want, it's like nah, you just want, cutting you up. Cutting up, ranking love up to, people. Love to cut up and have a good stuff. time. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. When I do my thing, but I know not to get out of my damn lane. They like you ought to go on the show. I'm like, nigga, you go on the show. <laughs> nigga, hell. And you that ain't the same thing. That ain't the same damn thing. Oh shit! I don't you know, know do what that. the fuck I'm doing. That ain't the same thing. Uh uh-uh. uh. That's a, it's like an hour on that that's damn a stage. That, that is Two hard minutes seem like an hour. Don't it's it? hard work. I it's seen Jesse McDonald. And he did a, a damn heat stroke up there. He's a, you got to look up the comedian Jesse McDonald. He is uh, he from Dallas? He from no, he from my hometown. But he lives here. Arkansas. You. <laughs> but he lives here. I should have never said anything. <laughs> no, but but give me my number three. I ain't forgot. You you got a Biggie, Frankie Beverly Mays, and one more. Okay, I'm gonna use this lady because I can see that you and her cousins. I guess I don't give a damn. I don't like neither one of you. Go ahead. I love you both though. There's a certain song, and I wasn't. I was. I was never really. A super fan of hers. I respected her. But she came out with a song that brought tears to my eyes because it was so true. Let me guess. What? Who? Was it Nita Baker? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no sweet love over this house. <laughs> Wait a minute. Give me another one. Was it Sade? The fuck? No. <laughs> Get a damn name. Who was it? Beyonce. I could, I like and that. And she came out that's with that song choice. bigger. Yeah, that's a You're good choice. You're part of something that's a good way choice. bigger. That's a, that's a bigger good choice. Than you, that's a nice bigger that's than a, that's me. A, yeah, that's a nice bigger than the picture that they paint us to see. We are way bigger. Keep going. Than what we actually know that we are, mm-hmm. and that song just brought so many emotions to me, because you know I was still dealing with the, my loss of my career. Right. And just to hear her, and I didn't hear her singing it like she was better than me. I didn't hear her singing it like she was different than me. I heard her singing it to me as Vita. You're way bigger than what you know. So go do this. 
go do this. Wow. That's awesome. So that's your number three. So we got uh, Biggie, Biggie, Frankie, Frankie Beverly May, and Beyonce. And Beyonce. Hot, that's a hot top three. That's a hot top three. That's a hot top You probably said that to everybody. No, no, no. I bet you yeah, that's I, a hot I, top three. So there's somebody that sat down and you was yeah, like, your no, top if three say it, no, if you have said, no, 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 no. Uh, what? Yeah. 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 Jay Cruz picked Jay Z. And Jay, Bru- Jay Cruz, I said, nigga, you in the South. And you're like, this is an all hospitality. All I don't Texas. even play. So, yeah. So, I why you, you let my Biggie slide? Because, because Mike Jones said Biggie, and he made me realize this dude's persona was not one that people really gravitated to at first. But being that Mike Jones lost all that weight, he made me understand that it motivates people to say, I might look like this, but I'm still the, the, the shit. Yeah. 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 You see yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. And then he started talking about it. how people all over the world. Or know that he yeah he put it in me he, he pimped me on it you know what I'm saying <laughs> that nigga pimped me on it you know what I'm saying I so, love Mike Jones yeah yeah oh he I love Mike Train that, oh that nigga real too I love it. I, people can't say nothing about Mike to uh-uh. me who yeah, that's right yeah Mike Jones you niggas know what it is I gave that nigga Ward here too shout out to Mike Jones who? yeah <laughs> that's my friend that's so, my friend fan. So, so I think I think the co-hosting comedian comedian type deal I mean, we want to be on Apollo like Steve Harvey or something no. The hell you talking about then? You just gonna come out and host for the ones who hot like Ricky and them or something? What you doing? I don't about? even know. I don't know. I'm just talking and shit. Oh like, yeah. I, 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 I could, but I feel like I, I in my vision for my life, you know, my vision for my life is to be the number one radio personality you and, a, mo- and a motivational speaker. No, I got to go back and do it again. Let me ask you a question. there's no reason you, where, that I can be on right now and not be number one. Where have you been um, to speak for motivational, being a motivational speaker? Oh, wow. So a young lady, oh, God. Back to that cocaine takes your memory away. No, 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 no. We no, we, no, we'll, no wait on you. we'll wait on you. Uh, I've, I've done, you know, like I'm, I'm on a brunch this Sunday. A, young, a friend of mine is putting together a woman's empowerment seminar. So I'll be speaking to that as well. I can't like just remember. You know, I used to go to schools when things were back open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially alternative schools. That's hot. That's hot. Because I, I was a, a child that went to alternative school. Yeah. So I had got, I got, help I got kicked out of the public school system in Albuquerque. So I go to public school, I mean, alternative schools and public schools too, but. I love to go to speak to alternative schools because I love to, you know, to talk to a child, you got to been walked in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hard to come in there and never did shit and yeah. tell the child what they doing is not right. Yeah, yeah, no, Have no. you ever met a person that came back after you, they've heard you years later and said, you've changed my life. You. Yeah. That's hot. That's hot. Yeah. On the radio, mostly uh, I've had, oh, it's so f- crazy, like weird that not weird i'm sorry i didn't mean that's not the right description but um i've had people say that they did not commit suicide i can't compare to that now hell i was gonna throw my little jacket i had a nigga to call me but he was he wasn't gonna kill himself you know this nigga this nigga told me I inspired him. He seen me on the YouTube, and he he never he like everything you ever done. But I couldn't. I can't come by on that hell. Let's forget about it. You were ready. He was ready. Yeah, I'm like mine coming next. No, hell no. Let me die. <laughs> Let me get the hell back. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> But, oh. you know, I did. Shout out to that nigga in Oklahoma. Don't let him see you. Nigga. I care about you. Bring him back. Bring him back. <laughs> but, yeah, I've had people, you know, just talk to me about how, like you said, laughter. Laughter changes everything. everything. Not, yeah, that's something I love. Laughter changes everything. Smiling it. from the inside out changes it's health, a perspective it's good health. about your life. And being transparent, people so appreciate that. When yeah, transparent. yeah. Man. So, and and actually, one of the people that that told me about you know that she did not commit suicide. Um, Damn, it was a couple of them. yeah. I've, I've heard that before. Damn, I've literally heard that before. You know, being in the afternoon when people are coming home from work and they're most stressed, you know, yeah, I they, told you they got to go figure out what the day is about. Yeah. They yeah. got to pick their kids up. Wait, man, they might what? not have money or food or anything. Or where I'm going to sleep their at. their kids. They, they're Denied. worried. Yeah. So the fact that I was able to help people laugh and then be transparent about my life mm-hmm. and talk about my son. And, you know, when my son stole money out, my per- my yeah, son yeah. stole like $700 from me. Yeah, that's cool. And My cousin stole my car, nigga. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> when, when, so when my sons throw that money, I made him come on the radio. Wow, mm. that's hot. Yeah, I you I need was to like, see it anyway. I was the like, nah, you're real. not gonna do this. You, yeah, you, you process gonna, is real. We gonna talk about because I said because I'm gonna talk about what you did. Yeah, yeah. And then and you know, I know Dylan and hates wait a you. You, you a trip, Dylan man. hate me. Wait a you minute. You gave that nigga a voice. And you know you know how I knew Dylan stole the money. Juju called me. <laughs> Fam life. Oh, Juju man. called me. So so Juju uh, was talking about he was selling a phone. Right, he had got this phone. He's selling a phone. And so my son would go over Juju house a lot. Yeah, yeah, my son would be over Juju house a lot with his son. And so Dylan heard Juju saying he was selling this new phone. Mm. Oh, yeah. So he went and took money out my you know out my shit seven hundred something dollars because he wanted to buy he wanted to buy that phone from Juju. And Juju called me. He's like Vita. You know, Dylan got like seven hundred dollars over nigga here. Banking, nigga. You you know. Like, I was like, "What the fuck?" Like for real? <laughs> he got it. He said, "Yo, where you get this from?" I said, "Hold on, let me go home and see where you got it from." So I went home. I checked my stash because you know I would yeah, keep my shit hidden different places. Yeah, he knew. Right? He knew. He knew. So I was like, "You found my money, but did you find my vibrator, nigga?" Uh, <laughs> huh? What huh? he say? Did you hit yourself in the head with my dick? No, <laughs> little bitch. What he say? He was little like, bitch. He was crying. What? He was crying. Wasn't he? So uh, yeah. Well, he was like, I, oh, he was crying because I whooped his ass. Uh, Dylan was. Uh, How old was he? He was in elementary. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So he was oh no, 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 no. Middle school. No, yes. no. He seven, sixth grade. Okay. Yeah. okay. Sixth grade. Yeah. So sixth That's grade. Like, I mean, okay. but you got it. You got it. The kids gonna do something. They yeah. gotta do something. So, but when he did it, I brought him to work with me because I said I'm gonna tell this story. And then you're going to, I want people to talk to you about it. Damn. I want people to, to tell you how they feel about hearing that you stole this money from your mom. So I brought him in, told the story, put him, put the phone, put, put the headphones on him. And I told people to call up and talk to my son. How did it go? Did it work out? It went excellent. That's good. And I had a young lady. And so this is how I met that young lady. So she comes up to the station days later. Damn. And she has like a gift basket. Mm -hmm. She had a, a football for Dylan wow. with with scriptures on it. Wow. That's so she hot. had like put real, you know, real meaningful scriptures for him, Psalms and different things, wrote on the football, gave him the football, brought me a, a something for my home, like bless this home mm -hmm, thing mm -hmm. to hang, uh, brought a Bible. And then that's when she told me that I kept her from killing herself. Wow. wow. That's hot. Amazing. That's hard. Mm. That's real hard. That's, I remember when they've asked us, what's the biggest, who's the biggest person we would love to interview? And everybody said they're, you know, who they wanted to be. And I said, I would love to interview a person who came to me and tell me that I changed their life because of what we said or what we put out. Because that would be, the most gratifying moment to me in my life right on this because you want to know that you're changing somebody's you, you, life you you it's per let me tell you something one big reason why i got let go from the morning show is because god knew i wasn't sowing seeds wow yes i come on and i might touch a few people here and there but god knew i put you in a position you know, I, I gave you everything you manifested. I gave you your morning show. I gave you your television show. I gave you your satellite show, show but you're not sowing seeds. Exactly. You're not going back. Wow. You coming home. You, you, you coming home, eating, drinking, going to sleep, waking up, doing it over again. You can't ask for greatness and then not be great. Wow. Wow. So that's why my show was taken from me. Because of the seeds that I did not sow. So yeah. how are you trying to sow seeds now? Oh, I'm sowing seeds I'm trying seeds to figure now. out when yeah. you're going to write your damn book. Hell, you're you like, like an author, uh, right? You know yeah. what? I'm sitting oh here yeah. tripping on You want to know something? Oh, yeah. The way she's talking, I'm like, damn, is we going through a book phase? Can I tell you? So I have been that I am going to write a book. You should. A couple of books. You should. But the first book, that I, I had this book title in my head. That That's funny that you just said this because I wrote it down. This is like one of the first times I wrote down the actual book title that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I, and I want to do a motivational book and a, and a, yeah, and a, and a, a book. But the first book I wanted to do was how many points does it take to get to the pussy? Wow. <laughs> that's going to sell. That's going to sell. <laughs> 
Exactly. That's your sale. Also known as Pussy Points. Uh, <laughs> that's a movie. <laughs> that's a movie. P Valley. Oh, no. P Valley. Who was that other movie? The one that Steve Harvey did. That, all, that reminds me sort of. Think like, like a, a man. man. Yeah, that's what that yeah. reminds me of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It got yeah. A feel. How many points does it take to get to the right. pussy? Well, we we appreciate you how you start winding it down. Like, well, we appreciate you no, for coming I, on this show. Oh, 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 I want to say something else. Well, damn, she, she, she enjoyed. You better wind okay. it back up. Okay, okay. 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 I it. see on your Instagram you always promoting your workout, my TLC, your drinks. That you my, promote my uh, weight loss on, journey hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. and all of that. Wait a minute, look at her because she can pull it out. Shout out, to, out. shout out to Vita who comes strong, but look at her. She coming out with a little uh, bag she, of she treats. Got, she got don't, it. Shout don't out put little, yeah. don't yeah. put little. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> shit. I don't like it when they say little shop, so I get it. Don't put little down. in front of my Calm shit. Calm down. <laughs> No, that's what no, that's what they say. Yeah, no, that's E. He got that little old shop yeah, over there. Oh, oh, I'm like, nah, wait a damn minute. Well, I ain't got no shop. When girl. you break up with your man, I saw you with little girlfriend. I saw you with your little girlfriend. I saw you opened up a little shop. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what they told me. Saw with your little outfit. He got that little shop over there. I said, oh, they hating on me. Yeah, when they yeah, say yeah. little. So yeah. I get it. I get it all the Don't way. Don't you put little on I, my I shit. I apologize. Hold it up, yeah. to, hold it up to the yes, camera right yes. there. And hold okay. on. So, so this right here, and, and just real quickly, this is how I made it through. That's what's up. When I got let go. That's what's up. Not made it through because I made it through financially making money from here. No. But I made it through because I was actually able to lose the weight and then have a feeling that was good. Like these vitamins right here, I swear to God. So remember I told you I knew for six months I was going to get fired? Right, right. Can you imagine knowing for six months that you're going to get fired I don't know when. and still got to go to work wow. and mm -hmm. produce wow. and still be funny yeah. and still care yeah. Yeah. and still try and still have hope and still have faith when you when you know what that's that's what that your your, your GM told you. Mm -hmm. So that's nerve wracking. When I was depressed, I was depressed and I was drinking in the morning. That's serious for me because my morning started at three o'clock in the morning. Me and you both. So I got to be to work at four. Been going on for years. And you so, drank before you And went I would to drink work. before I went to work. Wow. So how did this come into play? Let's talk about Dee -dee. it. So when I... Dee Dee. Dee Dee in the morning? Dee Dee in the morning. That's invited, what's up. Shout out Dee Dee in the morning. I love Dee Dee. She invited me to a women's brunch. Mm -hmm. Right? In March. I got to let go January. She, March, women's month. She had a brunch. And she was like, Vita, I want to honor you. I want to honor you. Come to my brunch. At first, I was like, bitch, you the reason I got fired. Fuck no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want to go because I got fired because I couldn't beat you. And now you want to break bread with a nigga while you still got your shit. Mm -hmm. God said, bitch, don't do that because that's how my God talked to me. Bitch, don't do that. Mm -hmm, go, to the, mm -hmm. go to the brunch. Go to the brunch. Go to the brunch. So long story short, I'm trying to make sure. I went to the brunch. Uh, I did not sit at the table I was supposed to sit at. I sat at another table. And a young lady said, hey, I got a business opportunity for you. Wow. Uh, at that time, I was just trying to do things. I didn't know what to do. I just needed somewhere to go. And so I was like, okay, I'll come. You, she said, come by my house, and uh, I'll talk to you about it. So I'll, I get to her house the next day. She lived two, three houses down from Yellow Beezy. Wow. She's in a gated community. Wow. She's got a Bentley, a let's Benz, go, let's go. and a Ford F-150 sitting in now. the front yard. God bless him. I said, I came in, I said, what is it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what you got? Sign me up. Yeah, Sign buddy. me up. Sign That's me up. That's a good business Put partner. me in the game, coach. Put yeah, me yeah, in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I had never even taken the products before, but I just saw I've what was going on. Before. I saw what was going on. I said, yeah, put me in, put me in, wow. put me in. I did not know. I didn't know what this was. I didn't know what this was. I didn't know shit, but I was over weight and depressed so i said okay i'll do it so i got the nutriburst i got the tea um when when i took the nutriburst i started mm -hmm. taking the nutriburst in the morning instead of the patron mm -hmm. it, and it, it replaced it replaced that's the hot. alcohol in the morning mm. that's hot it gave me a feeling that's what's up because that's what you take to get a for. feeling you, yeah. you need a feeling yeah. this replaced the feeling is that, that all I was natural for. it's well, all natural okay it, it's all vitamins okay yeah. you is that mine no, I, yes I, yeah yeah i pay you for it too nigga i got a little money here we talk <laughs> you know, we, I, you know, no, I want to pay and, and so this right here is what how i lost the weight yeah, yeah. this right here Why is how you i lost the weight on? I got one in the car. No, he didn't. Because he's like, that's mine. He's like, <laughs> that's mine. We're not no, even let share. me tell you something. It gave me a feeling that I was looking for. See, this in this company, you don't sell products. You sell the feeling. Okay. If it don't work for you, then don't do it. 
Yeah. If yeah. it don't work for you, then don't, don't do, do it. it. Yeah. Don't do it. You can't sell nothing that you don't believe in. Exactly. That and so that right there had me not drinking in the morning. It and gotta work me. for you too. And it, when people see the results, they're gonna wanna be like, What have you been so doing? So where can you find this? Uh only online? Only Where's online. Yeah. Well, Only that's online. That's how that's where yeah. everybody at. You would yeah. get it through yeah. each individual yeah. vendor, like yeah. she's yeah. a vendor. Well, I'm distributor. sure distributor. you can't. What's up with that? And so You're this is to hold the thing. Well, no, this is somebody else. Let me see. Look, look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I got one bag left. Some. I got one bag left, and oh, I, owe, on, I owe my friend. Okay. If I sell his bag, he gonna kill me. And that helps you to lose How much is it? Well, it's detoxing. So how much is it? Not every. That's seventy dollars. Damn. Not everybody. Not everybody. Detox. If you detox, it's not detox. just to lose weight. Detoxing the is not just to lose weight. Yeah, if you drink alcohol, if you smoke weed, if you drink, if you eat red meat or chicken or meat, this you helps. have to detox your body, your liver, your colon, yeah. your intestines. Yeah. You know, you got old stool in you. Even if yeah, you're skinny, that's right. even if you're skinny, you yeah. do have old Does stool in you. Does any of these have caffeine in them? No. Cool. I'll dig no. It. Get me a bag of this. No. I want one. And that right there gives you energy and no, 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 no. caffeine. I want one of that's, these. That's what I've been looking for. I was going to buy that stuff that you had no me doing. Okay, you can buy his bag. I'm, I'm, okay. Nigga, okay. I got that bread. You got me big. Nigga, it's done. You ain't, you, hey. Charles, I'm sorry. Nigga, I just, nigga, I, I'm just so blessed to be stressed. I, I'm, I'm blessed. So, yeah, I got it. Yeah. We blessed. You see how I do it. And you're blessing people. I love it. And you're blessing people. Yeah, yeah you know. thank you. Yo, thank, thank you. you, thank you. No, 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 don't I'm, do I'm that. I'm so glad no, I do made that. Don't it. make me feel like I'm just ah, doing my thing. Ah, don't so make you feel like you're doing boss your job. Boss Talk 101. So let, let's Say that for me question. one time, that oh. Boss Talk 101. That shit's so big, I got to look back at it. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love you. Know what you think about this platform, what you think about what we're doing, because coming from what you're doing, you have the knowledge. Consistency. Y'all are consistent, and that is what's We've been pushing. It's coming through. It's going to pop. You believe uh, so? it, it, it's probably already popped. That's what and niggas you don't be saying. They be like, it's going it's gonna to go. But, really? but look yeah. at it. It's already popping. Yeah, you here. It's already popping. See how I said the it? fact that you can sit down and you can attract people to you to interview is amazing. So it's already popping. Thank you. Um, you know, God is just working his time. But consistency is what matters. So you just never stop. That's what's up. So it it's have you written out the vision that you see for this? Do you <sighs> do you because you can't just we keep now, moving? Have we, have we, no. You well, can't what have keep we moving done? without the vision. Yeah. The vi the, the vision clarity in the vision accelerates the goal. I could say we wrote I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like you talked about you wrote something. We wrote something together. A long time ago. And and, and I still stand true to that and I know but you But it do had too. nothing to do with yeah, this. Yeah it did but it did. Yes it did. For baby. him it, I guess Oh yeah I know you. what it done because I know where the numbers will go. So I know what I said and I know what we're doing. And actually that my ministry for us dealing with people who've been through conditions like myself. What is uh, what conditions? No, just being in incarcerated and being <laughs> I write a lot Sorry. of guys, a lot of them been on this platform that had relatives that I get to write to or, or converse with, speaking at the uh, Juvenile Detention Center through Charleston. Different stuff that I ask God for to be able to do has been happening along with this show. So I look at everything that you ask because we, we got to be specific, but God got a way of doing it to where you didn't see it coming that way. A lot of times we get caught up in what we think it's going to be like exactly. And how it's going to But happen. God has a way that you don't even know about. He'll reveal it to you. Right. So that's how I know. I know it's happening. But I still stand true to the fact that what we wrote is still going down. What I well, see about what, what I see with this Rewrite is it. That, make it. Make it brush it up a little bit. Yeah. Because, you know, you do. we always pray <laughs> that God uses us as a vessel that's it. to touch many people. Help people. And... When we started doing this and I see the people coming in and we're talking to people, I'm like, you know, sometimes you have to laugh to yourself and you're like, God, I know that you're working through us to do this. I yeah. know this is where you want yeah. us to be. Because he's even said it to us, out of everything we've done, we feel it with this yeah. more than yeah. anything yeah. else. Yeah, because we done done a lot of stuff. You don't realize we took people everywhere. It took them all over the world, hell. And of the United States, right? <laughs> I, I, I'm... Putting together a networking brunch, like a boss brunch. Oh, that's hot. And I would love to, you know, you know, marry this idea with my brunch. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would like for y'all to speak at the brunch, but oh. even better, 
like set boss talk one on one up yeah. at the brunch. I'll bring it through. Awesome. And then have a place where, you know, People all the speakers yeah. can come. That's hot. And How speak with be. you yeah, for hot. five to ten minutes. And you can that's get hot. everybody that's gonna speak on the panel come and, and speak with that's you. It. And then you also speak on the panel. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'll set it up. Yeah, when, I, when I would, is that brunch? Well, it's in my head right okay. now, and no, it's no, about to come no. to fruition. I'm okay. just telling you, I, yeah. I will set it up. I'm electronic because I'm I'm literally a part of a brunch this Sunday coming up. Uh, Gucci, you the do beauty. a lot of brunches. I yeah, know. so I'm hosting a brunch this Sunday. You you know who DK International is? No, you no. need to have him on your show. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna sh- shoot you his stuff. He's DK a, he's a black man and he builds luxury homes. I like that. And he, his vision is to is building skyscrapers mm-hmm. and in corporations and you know building up right, right building right. way up right. 20 30 wow. 30 floor buildings so DK I need to add him on here. Yeah, D, it's DK International. He'll actually be at this brunch on on Sunday. Okay, what y'all doing Sunday? Y'all should come to this. What well, we got? We we got a something we got to do today. But you keep talking. Hell, we can't even get out. <laughs> oh of damn, here. you can't yeah. even leave. Hell yeah, we fuck got people. Plans. We got, you know just what I'm like, saying? Just yeah, like, yeah. Just we like here, but, Rick James said, "Fuck your couch." I'm gonna tell you something. Fuck your plans. The reason <laughs> you know <laughs> when you can sit and talk to somebody forever, it means they're doing a good interview. I'm gonna be honest with you. some people. I can't sit here like this with. Give me your phone. Did you sit here like with this with Pookie? Yeah, we had a, he was here. Why? Why? Hey, he was here before. His interview was finished. Why for about, probably about thirty minutes? Yeah, he's Why you didn't get on the mic, Pookie? You just sitting there like you're so humble. You're so humble. I'm gonna be honest with you, Pookie wouldn't leave because me and him kept reminiscing so dang much, and we enjoy each other's Pookie, company. Pookie is Dallas. That's why. Hey, and I already further know that. Than that. I see Pookie. He should be. A, he's a mentor. Oh yeah, and so Pookie, your legacy is going to live on when you create some of these young niggas, and get them straight and put them out here, and get Dallas popping already. Are you are you finished with your questions now? Yes. You you want to have a brunch with her? You can go with me if you want to. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man, boss talk one on one. It's a unique hustle, and we out.